Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to make guacamole. Our first step is gathering all of our ingredients, which are onion, cilantro, tomato, jalapeno, aguacate, and lime. Our next step would be washing our ingredients and drying them. Our next step would be cutting our aguacate in half and pitting the seed. Our next step is pitting our aguacate. We want to take our knife going all around cutting it in half. We want to open the aguacate and then take our knife once again, placing it a quarter of an inch inside the seed, then churning the knife. The seed should come out easily. Next, you want to take your spoon and going all around in a circular motion to scoop out all the aguacate. You will do this to all the aguacates you are going to be using for your guacamole. I suggest a minimum of four to five aguacates for a guacamole recipe. All the aguacate I am scooping, I'm placing in a stainless steel bowl that is large enough so it could hold all my ingredients. The bowl you are using does not necessarily have to be stainless steel. You could use any bowl that you have lying around at your house. Our next step is to mash up our aguacate. You could use a potato masher to mash up the aguacate or you could use a cup. Next, I mince the tomato, jalapeno, onion, and cilantro. I then went ahead and cut all my limes in half. For this guacamole recipe, I like to use four limes. And for jalapenos, I use four to five jalapenos. If jalapenos are too spicy for you, you could put no jalapenos. Or if you really like spiciness, you could put more than four or five jalapenos. It all depends on how you like your guacamole. Same thing with the onion, the tomato, and the cilantro. You could add or take away any of the ingredients if you do not like them. I tend to use one large onion, one to two bunches of cilantro, and one to two tomatoes. Once I have the tomato, onion, cilantro, and jalapeno in the bowl, I like to mix it everything together with the spoon, making sure that the onion, tomato, cilantro, and jalapenos are evenly mixed in the aguacate. Once I see that my guacamole is nice and evenly mixed, I like to add salt to my guacamole to give it taste. I also grab my four limes that are cut in half and squeeze out as much of the lime juice as I possibly can to help prevent the guacamole from browning. I also like to add one or two of the pitted seeds from the aguacate to help it from browning. I give it one more mix so everything is nice and evenly mixed. And that's how you make guacamole. Thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make guacamole. Don't forget to leave a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on a video you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching.